Hello, my name is Sarah and I'm the curate at St Mary of Bethany Woking. Welcome to our Ash Wednesday online service of Holy Communion. I'm going to be leading us through our service this morning. I hope that you uh, have managed to make yourself some ash or have found something that you can use uh, instead of ash if you don't want to be burning stuff around the house. If you haven't got anything at all, don't worry. We can go through the words and the motions and we don't really need to make a mark. It is just purely symbolic. But if you have something and you want to do that, that's wonderful. And I will guide us through that part of the service. So before we start, just a, a recap that Christians from the very, very early days um, have always given great devotion to this time of, the, of Jesus's passion and uh, pre preparation for his resurrection. And it's marked by a season of penitence and fasting uh, that we call Lent. So we need to be very careful about keeping these days and to take to heart the call to repentance and the assurance of forgiveness that's proclaimed throughout the gospel so that we can grow in faith and devotion to Jesus as we move through this phase. So I invite you in the name of the church to the observance of a holy Lent. And we're gonna do that through self-examination and repentance and by prayer, fasting and self-denial. And of course, by reading and meditating on God's holy word. So as we go through the service, you're invited to say the words in bold and I will say the words that aren't in bold. If there are any pauses, you can add thoughts and words of your own. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. So let us pray for grace to keep Lent faithfully. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so our gospel reading is going to be taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verses 1 to 11. But Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. At dawn, he appeared again in the temple courts where all the people gathered round him and he sat down to teach them. The teachers of the law and the Pharisees brought in a woman caught in adultery. They made her stand before the group and said to Jesus, teacher, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. In the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. Now, what do you say? They were using this question as a trap in order to have a basis for accusing him. But Jesus bent down and started to write on the ground with his finger. When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, let any one of you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. At this, 
those who heard began to go away one at a time. The older ones first, until only Jesus was left with the woman still standing there. Jesus straightened up and asked her, woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? No one, sir, she said. Then neither do I condemn you, Jesus declared. Go now and leave your life of sin. So we're going to take some time now for self-examination and for confession. Again, I will say the words in normal type and if you can join in with the words in bold. Let us now call to mind our sin and the infinite mercy of God. God the Father. God the Son. God the Holy Spirit. Trinity of love. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart and mind and strength. We have not loved our neighbour as ourselves. We have not forgiven others as we have been forgiven. We have been deaf to your call to serve as Christ served us. We have not been true to the mind of Christ. We have grieved your Holy Spirit. We confess to you, Lord. All our past unfaithfulness, the pride, hypocrisy and impatience of our lives. Our self-indulgent appetites and ways and our exploitation of other people. our anger at our own frustration and our envy of those more fortunate than ourselves. Our intemperate love of worldly goods and comforts and our dishonesty in daily life and work. our negligence in prayer and worship, and our failure to commend the faith that is in us. Accept our repentance, Lord. For the wrongs we have done, for our blindness to human need and suffering, and our indifference to injustice and cruelty. for all false judgments, for uncharitable thoughts towards our neighbours and for our prejudice and contempt towards those who differ from us. For our waste and pollution of your creation and our lack of concern for those who come after us. Restore us, good Lord, and let your anger depart from us. Accomplish in us the work of your salvation. By the cross and passion of your Son, our Lord, bring us with all your saints to the joy of his resurrection. We have not loved you with our whole heart. 
we have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Now we're going to have the imposition of ashes, and I will, I will do myself first, and then I will say the words, and you can follow and uh, make the mark of the cross on your own foreheads. Dear friends in Christ, I invite you to receive these ashes as a sign of the spirit of penitence with which we shall keep this season of Lent. God our Father, you create us from the dust of the earth. Grant that these ashes may be for us a sign of our penitence and a symbol of our mortality. For it is by your grace alone that we receive eternal life in Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Turn away from sin and be faithful to Christ. And so I say again, remember that you are dust and to dust you shall return. Turn away from sin and be faithful to Christ. God, our Father, the strength of all who put their trust in you, mercifully accept our prayers. And because in our weakness we can do nothing good without you, grant us the help of your grace, that in keeping your commandments, we may please you both in will and deed, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us access to his grace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Merciful Father, turn us from sin to faithfulness and from disobedience to love and prepare us to celebrate the death and resurrection of Christ our Saviour, who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. And now we give you thanks because you give us the spirit of discipline, that we may triumph over evil and grow in grace as we prepare to celebrate the Paschal mystery with mind and heart renewed. The Lord is here. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love, you made us for yourself. When we turned away, you did not reject us but came to meet us in your Son. In Christ you shared our life, that we might live in him and he in us. Oh. 
on the night he was betrayed at supper with his friends. He took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them saying, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, drink this, all of you. This is the blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. As we proclaim his death and celebrate his rising in glory, send your Holy Spirit that this bread and this wine may be to us the body and blood of your dear son. As we eat and drink these holy gifts, make us one in Christ, our risen Lord. With your whole church throughout the world, we offer you this sacrifice of praise and lift our voice to join the eternal song of heaven. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Lord Jesus, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Draw near with faith, receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you and feed on him in your hearts, by faith, with thanksgiving. As I take this bread and this wine on our behalf, we all share in a spiritual communion. Body of Christ, broken for us. blood of Christ shed for us. Amen. Almighty God, you have given your only son to be for us both a sacrifice for sin and also an example of godly life. Give us grace that we may always most thankfully receive these, his inestimable gifts, and also daily endeavour to follow the blessed steps of his most holy life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God of our pilgrimage, you have fed us with the bread of heaven, Refresh and sustain us as we go forward on our journey. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. This is love, not that we loved God. He is the sacrifice for our sins. If God loves us so much, 
if we love one another. May God the Father, who does not despise the broken spirit, give to you a contrite heart. May Christ, who bore our sins in his body on the tree, heal you by his wounds. May the Holy Spirit, who leads us into all truth, speak to you words of pardon and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Thank you for sharing this service uh, with me today. I just like to remind you that I am going on a Lent journey using Hannah Steele's Lent book this year, Living His Story. I'm going to be writing a blog and I'm going to be recording that blog and we are going to have a Zoom meeting every Thursday starting tomorrow on the 18th at one o'clock and we're going to go through chapter by chapter starting tomorrow with chapter one. It'd be great to see you there. <laughs>